Hi everyone, welcome back. If you are new, please consider subscribing. My name is Yadi and I make educational videos for beauty professionals in training and for those who like to continue learning. In this video, you will find information for the Texas Class A Barber Practical Exam for the pre-examination setup and disinfection, the manicure service, and the professional shave. But before we get into the videos, it's only fair I tell you how to prep before arriving to your test location. If you find the information helpful, don't forget to share it with a friend, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments down below if you're currently practicing preparing for your state board practical exam. Now let's get started. On the day of the examination, you should arrive 30 minutes prior to your scheduled appointment time. This allows for time for sign-in and identification verification, no conversing or any other form of communication with other candidates is allowed once you have entered the examination area. If you arrive late or do not appear to be in the appropriate attire, you will not be admitted to the examination site and you will forfeit your examination fee. Dress appropriately, consider wearing all black and for sure closed toe shoes. You must provide one form of identification. The identification must be a valid form of government issued ID, such as a driver's license, state ID, or passport book. Make sure that the ID you take with you the day of the test is not expired. Also, that it matches the name that TDLR has for you on file. A day prior to the test, make sure that your kit is ready and everything you need is inside. Once you have gone through registration, they will most likely take everyone and assign you to a testing station. Listen for instructions and follow them. Do as they say. Be attentive and focus on your workstation only. Do not focus on others working around you or next to you. This may look as if you are cheating and can lead to loss of points. Just a quick disclaimer, I am not affiliated with TDLR or PSI in any way. These videos are not intended to replace any type of teaching from a licensed facility. They're simple videos that can help some of you guys out there prepare for your state board exam a little bit better. And I hope you find them helpful. With that being said, you guys, let's get started and good luck on your test. Texas Class A Barber License Examination Practical State Board Prep. The first section is pre-examination setup and disinfection. You have 10 minutes to unpack your general supplies and prepare your work area. You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining. You may begin. All right, you guys, so right when they say you may begin, that is when you will go into your kit and pick up your pre-exam set up in disinfection bag. Remember to always close your kit behind you. This is what the bag looks like and we're going to reach in and grab our hand sanitizer to of course sanitize our hands first and then we will continue by grabbing our paper towel and our EPA bottle to start to disinfect the workstation. Now that we have disinfected our workstation, we can start getting some of these items out of the bag. We have a Ziploc bag full of paper towels. We have our water bottle, our hand sanitizer. We have our first aid kit. Remember that's there just in case you were to accidentally cut yourself. So hopefully you do not need to use it. We have a trash bag and yes, all trash bags are labeled trash just in case they ask you. Now let's focus on taping our trash bag to our station, you guys. Try to get at least two long strips of tape and tape your bag to your station. You want to secure the bag. Remember that everything will be thrown into this trash bag. So you want to make sure that you tape it really well because you do not want it to fall the day of the test. Okay, so let's do that. Mm -hmm. 
Once you're done with the tape, you can dispose of it into the trash and of course sanitize your hands. Next, we are going to be setting up our mannequin stand, our mannequin clamp. Once you have set up your mannequin stand, you can then continue by disposing of that large um, bag into the trash and you will then get your mannequin out of your kit and set it on the stand. Once your mannequin is set, feel free to sanitize your hands one last time and you will raise your hand that you are all done. Candidates, please stop working. All scoring has been completed for this section. The next section is manicure service. Please complete a manicure on five nails. You have 22 minutes to complete this section. You'll be informed when you have 11 minutes remaining. All right, you guys, so for this section, obviously in your kit, you will have a bag that is labeled manicure service. That bag will have everything that you need to complete all the steps required for this section of your exam, okay? More than likely, they will provide you with a separate table where you will be able to sit there will be a table, a small table, and a chair where you'll be able to perform the manicure. I'm going to walk you through the entire steps. Now, please be sure that you are practicing this section before your exam so that you become more comfortable with all of the steps. With that being said, let's get started. So you will get to your table, and this is what our manicure service bag looks like, you guys. What I want you to do is I want you to go in your bag and reach for your hand sanitizer first. So you will sanitize your hands. And before you sit or do any of that, you need to disinfect your work table. So grab you some paper towels that are inside of your bag. Disinfect your table along with the chair. You can now set your bag down. And again, disinfect the chair as well, okay? You will then reach for your trash bag. Remember, all of your trash bags are labeled trash. There's also tape in the bag, okay? So, trash bag and your tape. Get you a good piece of tape to tape to your station. long piece of tape and tape the trash bag to your table horizontal just like this this is now trash sanitize Now that I've disinfected my table, I've taped my trash bag, I'm now ready to sit down, okay? Once you have set, you can now start by taking everything out of your main bag to see what you have to work with. So we have our mannequin hand, we have an implement box, we have a manicure bowl, we have three towels, we have some paper towels, we have soapy water and we have a cuticle softener. The main bag, set it down next to you on the floor. Okay, next, okay. You need to lay all of your items out the right way, okay? Or not that there's a wrong or right way, but you need to set up your table, okay? So focus on setting up your table after you have taken everything out. So your mannequin hand, just set it to the side. Your soapy water along with your cuticle remover, set it to the side, okay? So next, what I want you to do is I want you to grab one of the towels, fold it in half like this, and just lay it across the table. Okay, lay it across the table. The next towel, I want you to fold it like this, like so, and put it right here, okay? Then you have a third towel. This third towel, you're gonna have it to the side. These paper towels, you can easily set them under your towel. You'll be using those to disinfect your workstation after you're done. So again, we have all of that out. This manicure bowl, set it right there in front of you. 
okay? Your mannequin hand can now go right on top of the towel, okay? If you're right-handed, then just set everything on your right-hand side. If you're left-handed, then put everything on your left-hand side. This is what the implement box looks like. What's in here? Let's look so you're familiar with what's in here, okay? We have cuticle oil, we have a buffer, we have a nail file, we have an orange wood stick, we have a cotton-tipped orange wood stick, and we have a nail brush, okay? So I'm gonna set that to the side, okay? And then of course I already showed you my soapy water and my cuticle rem uh, softener, okay? So all of that is right in front of me along with my mannequin's hand. All right, so what is next? After setting everything on the table, I am now ready to sanitize my hands and my mannequin's hand. So sanitizing my hands, then sanitizing my mannequin's hand, okay? This is what we're doing, sanitizing our mannequin's hand. After that, we are going to go into our implement box and grab our nail file. So here we go. Opening our box, make sure that we're keeping everything nice and closed. Sanitize. And we are going to file the five fingers on our mannequin hand. So we're starting here on the pinky and we're using our nail file. We're just shaping the nail. We're going from end to end. One, two, one, two, and then across. One, two, one, two, across. Here we go. Second, one, two, one, two, across. 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 You get the point. This file now becomes trash, trash, sanitize. Next, we are going to set our hand down. We're going to grab our soapy water. This is the soapy water. And we are going to pour some of this water into our manicure bowl. Again, it does not have to be very much of that. So don't fill up the bowl entirely with a whole lot of water because it'll just be way too messy. Okay, after that, we're going to put our hand into the manicure bowl. Okay, we're going to sanitize our hands go in here and grab our nail brush this is what our nail brush looks like and again we have our mannequin's hand submerged into our manicure bowl and we are now going to clean we're brushing the nails down okay brushing the nails down okay just like that once we have done that, we're now ready to dispose of this brush. This is trash, sanitize, okay? Then I want you to grab that towel that was next to you. Grab the towel and dry your mannequin's hand. Dry the hand, dry the hand, dry the hand, okay? Set the hand to the side. The soapy water, you guys throw into your towel. That's why you don't want to add a lot of water into the bowl. You don't want to make a, a mess, okay? So throw the water that was in the bowl into your towel. We then grab the towel along with the manicure bowl and this becomes trash. Sanitize. Let's grab our hand, place it back in the middle, just like this, okay? You're now going to grab your cuticle softener and apply cuticle softener on all five fingers. We're applying cuticle softener on all five fingers. Okay, close it, sanitize. Now we are ready to go into our implement box and grab our orange wood stick, okay? And now we are going to push the cuticles back on all five fingers, so here we go. OK, 
again, make sure that you guys are practicing this. Once you are done, you will then break your orange wood stick. This is now trash, sanitize. We're going to go back into our implement box, grab our tipped orange wood stick, our buffing block, and our cuticle oil. Close your implement box, sanitize your hands, you are now ready to clean the free edge of the nails using your cotton tip orange wood stick. So here we go. Have control of your hand. You're going under. Again, feel free to do it twice if you need to. This is now trash, sanitize. Now you are ready to buff the five nails. Here's our buffing block and here we go. This is then trash, sanitize. And now you are ready to apply cuticle oil to all five fingers. And there you have it. Okay, set your hand to the side. Now it's cleanup time. Grab your towels, fold it. Throw your towels in your trash bag. Your implement box is now empty. Okay, everything pretty much goes into the trash, you guys. Remember that you'll be able to take all of this home, so no worries. The paper towels that we have left, we are going to disinfect our workstation. Now all of this can be thrown into the trash. Remember that you have a hand sanitizer and an EPA in your regular station, the one you'll be using for all the hair sections. So this is a separate set of EPA and disinfectant hand sanitizer. Okay. And then of course you want to untape your trash bag. And of course you can set that back down next to you and you are now ready to raise your hand that you are all done. You're leaving the hand out just in case they wanna come over and look at it. And of course, once they acknowledge you, what you'll do is you'll grab both of your bags, the main bag and then the trash bag. At that point, feel free to put your hand back in any of these bags, it really doesn't matter. They've already seen it and you're already done. And you will simply walk over to your other station and wait for instructions. But you are now done with the manicure service section for the Texas Class A Barber State Board Practical. Let's move on to the next section. The next section is professional shave service. Time allowed is 42 minutes. You may begin. All right, you guys. So the minute you hear you may begin, you're going to sanitize your hands before you go into your bag. Remember your kit is going to be on the floor next to you, but again, sanitize your hands before you go into your kit and you're going to grab your professional shave service bag. Remember that your kit must remain closed throughout the entire test. All right. So there's the bag, that's what the bag looks like. So what you're going to do is you're gonna go into your bag and grab a paper towel because the first thing you wanna do is you want to disinfect your workstation. You already have your EPA bottle on your station, so grab you a paper towel and start disinfecting your workstation before you begin to take all the items you will be using for this section out of the bag. So here we go. 
Remember that your working space is not a huge station, so you have to work with whatever they provide you at your testing location. Remember that your EPA, your hand sanitizer, your spray water bottle all stay on your station. Once you've disinfected the workstation, it's okay for you to lay your bag on the table. You're disposing of your paper towel, and of course, we're sanitizing our hands every single time we throw something in the trash. Once we've done that, we are then going to go back into our bag and take out a second paper towel. Remember that you're doing this so that you can open that paper towel and start taking everything out of your main bag, okay? So we have our aftershave, we have our draping, we have our headband, we have our shaving cream that we're going to be using and incorporating during this section. Again, at this point, just start taking everything out of the bag so that you know what is it that you have to work with, okay? So we have our towel cape towel, we have an extra towel, we have a clip, and in a separate bag we have two damp towels. So before your test, you want to make sure that those towels are damp. This is what we're going to be using to do our removal and prepping of the skin during our shaving. That bag can either be thrown into the trash or set to the side because at the end of this section we'll be just getting rid of everything and it'll go in the trash bag. We're sanitizing our hands, so awesome. Once you have everything out, that's when you start to get an idea, okay, what is next? The next step will be to drape your mannequin. Towel, cape, towel. So we have our first towel, now we have the cape. All right, we got our first towel, we have our cape, we are now ready for our second towel. Once again, we are prepping the mannequin for the professional shave section for the Texas Class A Barber State Board Practical Exam. We have our mannequin, drape, towel, cape, towel. We're then going to be putting on a headband to get that hair out of the way. Now that we have our mannequin drape, towel, cape, towel, you've already have the headband on there. We're gonna grab our other towel, okay? And we are going to lay that towel across the chest, okay? Around the mannequin. Again, we're trying to work with what we have. Uh, I know doing this on a mannequin can be a little bit challenging, but this is what we want to do the day of the test. tucking it in on the side. This will help keep that towel in place and not slip off as you're working. All right, now that we have our mannequin ready to go, it's nicely draped, we are now ready to apply the shaving cream to the appropriate area, so here we go. Make sure that you are putting your lid over any cans, any jars that you'll be incorporating. And we are now lathering the face. the moment we are applying shaving cream over shaving area.
Once you are done, again, you are welcome to use any paper towels that are on your station to clean your hands. Again, no need to be afraid to do that. Use the paper towels as needed. Get rid of anything that may be on your hands. You're welcome to use hand sanitizer and use as many paper towels as you need. Once you have lathered the face, it is now time to remove the lather using a damp towel. Remember that I mentioned that in your kit, okay, during a, in this bag, you had two damp towels so you're going to grab one of them and you're going to of course check the temperature in the inside of your wrist before draping it over your mannequin's face just like this be sure to leave the area for the nose to breathe apply pressure one minute Apply pressure to the face as you gently start to remove that lather off the face. That towel, you guys, then becomes trash. We, of course, are then sanitizing our hands because we threw something in the trash. The next step is to then re-lather the face. This is something that you definitely want to practice during the time of your training. Do not ignore this. This is a very important section of your test. So be sure that you are ready the day of the exam. Remember that the day of the test, they do not read you the steps. They expect you to know exactly what to do the minute they say you may begin. So be sure that you are practicing as much as possible going over all of this before your test date. Once again, once you are done lathering the face, you can then clean your hands, use paper towels, use hand sanitizer, whatever you need to get your hands clean. So we are now ready to pick up our razor. Now remember that the day of the test, your razor does not need to have a blade. Now, during this part of the test, it may be that before you start this section, they will probably tell you to raise your hand once you are ready to demonstrate the different hand strokes. So once you are done, you will raise your hand that you are ready and the raider will then most likely approach you, come near your working station and ask to demonstrate the use of free hand stroke in an appropriate area. So here we go. Please remember to keep razor safety. Holding the razor in the free hand position. I'm gonna demonstrate the free hand stroke in area number one. I'm gonna stretch with my non-dominant hand, stretch the skin the opposite way of the stroke. The stroke is the area number one is on the right sideburn. One two, three. Make sure when you clean your razor off, you're demonstrating safety by cleaning it off side to side. My second stroke I'm gonna demonstrate. Demonstrate use of backhand stroke in appropriate areas. I hold the razor in the backhand position, stretching the skin. Stretch the skin. Demonstrate use of reverse freehand stroke in appropriate areas. I'm going to demonstrate the reverse freehand stroke. I have to travel or move, so I'm going to practice safety. So I'm going to close the razor, set it down, reposition. Pick up the razor, stretch the skin. Area number five is a reverse free hand.
After demonstrating the three different strokes, the raider will then ask for you to complete the shave. And we are now ready to demonstrate the 14 strokes. The first stroke is a freehand stroke located on the right sidebar. I'm going to stretch the skin with my nine diamond hand right behind the stroke of the razor. My second stroke is a backhand stroke. I'm going to hold the razor in a backhand position. I'm going to stretch the skin and I'm going to demonstrate a backhand stroke. Area number two. It's on the right, located on the right cheek. My third stroke is a freehand stroke located on the right side of the mustache. I'm going to stretch the skin with my non dominant hand and simulate a freehand stroke. Area number three. Make sure you're cleaning your razors off side to side for safety. My fourth stroke is also a freehand stroke, which is located on the right jawbone, jawline underneath the chin where the grain changes. Again, I'm going to stretch the skin with my non dominant hand. One, two, three. Stroke number five. Remember, I have to travel and reposition myself, so I'm going to practice safety and close my razor. I'm going to set it down, relocate my position, pick my razor up, and then simulate area number five. It's on the right side, bottom of the neck. My next stroke is going to be a backhand stroke. I'm going to have to relocate, so I'm going to demonstrate safety by closing my razor, setting it down. Relocate my position, picking my razor up, and make sure if you have to reposition the model's head, you have the razor closed. My sixth stroke is a backhand stroke located on the left side of the mustache, and it's a backhand stroke. One, two, three. Stroke number seven is also a backhand stroke and it's located on the left side bird. One, two, three. Stroke number eight is a freehand stroke and it's located on the left cheek. Stroke number nine is a backhand stroke and it's located on the left jawbone where the grain changes and it's a backhand stroke. Stretch the skin with the nine dominant hand. One, two, three. Stroke number 10 is a reverse freehand stroke located on the left side bottom of the neck. Hold the razor in a free hand position. Stretch the skin with my nine dominant hand and simulate a reverse free hand stroke. One, two, three. Remember to practice safety, clean your razor off side to side. My next stroke is stroke number 11, 
which is, also, which is a free hand stroke and it's located on the chin. Hold the razor in a free hand position, stretch the skin with my nine dominant hand and simulate the free hand stroke. One, two, three. My next stroke Number 12, it's an option. It can be a free hand stroke or a back hand stroke. It's the, only, it's the only position, the only area that can be a free hand stroke or a back hand stroke. I'm gonna demonstrate the free hand stroke. Under 12, area 12, it's right underneath the chin where the grain changes. One, two, three. My next stroke, Number 13 is a reverse free hand stroke. I have to travel, so I'm gonna practice safety by closing my razor, setting it down, relocating my position. And reverse free hand position. And it's located at the bottom middle on the trachea area of the neck. I'm gonna stretch the skin with my non-dominant hand and simulate a reverse free hand stroke. One, two, three. And my last stroke is stroke number 14, which is also a reverse free hand stroke. And it's located right underneath the bottom lip. I'm gonna stretch the skin with my nine dominant hand. Simulate reverse free hand stroke. One, two, three. So once we've completed the 14 shaving areas, we are now ready to use that second damp towel to remove any traces of shaving cream. Remember that your towel will be damp and therefore it is important that you are checking the temperature of your towel. Keep space for the nose to breathe and apply pressure for one minute. Remove any traces of shaving cream. Remember you can then dispose of that towel. Once you do so, remember to always sanitize your hands. We are now ready to apply our aftershave. We are now ready to begin our cleanup disinfecting process. So you guys, at this point, we can start undraping our mannequin by removing the headband, the towels, the towel cape towel, all of that can be taking off the mannequin and then thrown into your trash bag. Again, at this point, you are just disposing of everything. So your bottles, any bags, all of that goes into the trash. Now you are ready to disinfect the station one last time before you raise your hand that you are all done. And once again, once you have disinfected everything, Candidates, please stop working. All scoring has been completed for this section. Thank you. Let's move on to our next section. That concludes this video. Thank you again for watching and for your continued support. If you found the information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and again, please consider subscribing. You guys, let's keep going. Let's keep growing, and I'll see you 
on the next one.